is happening? What a Gamecock Sunday. What a Gamecock Sunday. We came and took care of business. We went down Lexington and took care of business. Y'all hear me? 103 to 55. Uh, we left no doubt. We left no doubt. We swept the season series. We put six players in double figures. We are letting people know. South Carolina, listen, we are we, we rounded into shape right on time. Just like I thought that we would be doing the youngins, as we as we call them, these youngins. Listen, they coming in today on right on time. They coming in today on right on time. This win gave us the, the SEC regular season title outright. You know, after we had got a share of it against in that win against Alabama. Bree Hall. Bree Hall, y'all. Bree Hall led us uh today with 18 points. We have my laser follow up with 17. Sonia Fagan, career record. 16 points, five blocks. Okay. We led, we led from the tip. We and we didn't look back. Okay. Uh, we dominated. We dominated. And we did all of this with Camilla Cardoso still resting. Did y'all hear what I said? We did all of this with Carmelo with, with Camilla Cardoso still resting. That means, listen, we're gonna be beyond a problem. We are going to be beyond a problem. We had 32, we had 32 to 10 advantage in points off turnovers. We had 17 fast break points. We blocked 10 shots. We are throwing a block party every game. It's one of the best things, one of the best kept secrets about, about South Carolina is the is the block party that we throw every game. Seriously, it's underrated. Nobody's talking about it, but anybody will get you a block uh, in South Carolina. Please pay attention, y'all. It's fun to watch. It's fun to watch. Uh, we got out to a 7-0 start and just and just kept going. Next time I looked up, we was up 17 before the quarter ended. We were shooting about 62% from the floor, and we kept them uh, to, I think, 24%. 24% shooting in the first quarter. We blocked six shots and forced seven turnovers to open up a 25-8 lead on Kentucky. By halftime, we were up 20. And we had we had got eleven from from my laser right then. Lay with the butter had a great game, had a great game. And I like the little I like the little feistiness at the end with with Russell. Listen, you know, on the road or or at the crib, um, you know, we gonna stand on business. I don't know what was said. I like a little trash talk, a little fire fiery fieriness. Maybe we'll see him again in an SEC tournament. Um, nothing personal, I don't think, but you know, good to see a little little little, little trash talk back and forth. I, I like that. It, it keeps it keep the game spicy. I like it. But we were just really efficient today. I love that. We were, we were 8 for 12 from beyond the arc, and we made free throws. We only missed two free throws today, y'all, 19 to 21. The stuff that I was talking about, turnovers, free throws, fouls, we handled that stuff pretty good. By the time by, by the time the game was over, uh, we had had leads as high as 48 points. But Ashlyn Watkins, Ashlyn Watkins, this sophomore forward, listen, y'all, is just really having a strong showing as as a starter. I'm excited to see what what what's in store for her next. She had 13 points today uh, in the win. This is our sixth start of the season. Uh, four four of those she she's done in place of Cardoso, and Cardoso was just resting. Uh, in her first five starts, though, Watkins had like 12 12.6 points, 10.2 rebounds, and that's higher than her season averages. So just think uh, when she's starting on a regular basis, what that double double is going to look like. Right, uh, and, and she'll be replacing the double double because Camila Cardoso is a walking double double. As, as I said earlier, uh, if she gets her, if she gets a little bit more, a little bit more aggressive and, and a little bit, a little bit better hands, Cardoso could be a twenty five twenty player uh, on any night, on any night. Let's look at the rest of the team. Let's see who else, who else uh, contributed. Chloe Kitts always, always involved. Chloe Kitts double double, ten points, twelve rebounds. You can never say enough about Chloe. Chloe shows up. I told you she does the dirty work. She does the stuff that doesn't show up in the box scores every night, but you can count on her to contribute. And and I and I know we, we have our knocks. We have our things that we want Chloe to do better. We want to see her get her weight up. We want to see her be a little bit more aggressive. We want to see her be. Uh, a little bit more, a little bit more solid, but that stuff will come. I, you know, remember, I think Chloe came a little bit early last year, or she would be a freshman this year. So I think she still got some development, to, some developing to do with her body and her game. But Chloe's going, Chloe's going to be fine, and she's going to prove to be very valuable going into March. So we'll keep an eye on Chloe Ashland, like I said, uh, and Chloe also chipped in five assists, y'all, in two blocks, five assists in two blocks. Ashton, like I said, had the 13 points, three rebounds, four assists, two steals. Bree, 18 points, uh, the one rebound, one assist. Raven didn't play much. Uh, nine, well, 25 minutes, but she had nine points, six rebounds, five assists, two steals, one block. Still count on Raven to give you an all around game, and that's what I want from my point guard. Facilitate, score when I need you to, and D up. 
whoever's in front of you. And, and, and Raven's going to do that for you every night. Uh, pow, pow, 11 points. I think she was uh, almost perfect from three, three or four, something like that. She had four assists, two rebounds. Fagan, like I said, 16 points, career high. She had six rebounds, four assists, five blocks. This kid is going to be a problem. This kid is going to be a problem. I love I love the tenacity with what she plays with. Um, excited to see her continue to grow. Excited to see her continue to get more minutes as uh, we go into March and then into next season. Uh, that Fagan, Watkins, Fawaii, uh three-headed, three-headed triple team is going to be it's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be fun to watch. I love the way that they're kind of gelling together and the chemistry that it seems like these three ladies are putting together, along with Tessa Johnson, who is just I mean lights out from three when she wants to be the sweet stroke, sweet stroke. Uh, Tessa uh, had five points today, three assists, one rebound. We, we got a little contribution from everybody. We went. Uh, we went. We went. Ten, we went. Uh, nine deep. We went nine deep today. Uh, Cardoso was out. You look at Kentucky. Petty had sixteen points. Cher had eleven. Fifteen from Tyler. Yeah, six, two, two, three, and then a couple that didn't score. Um, they just never really seemed like they got into a rhythm. Like I said, we, we, when I talked about them before, they can they can be a scrappy defense um, when they when they get going. But again, based on how we played them last time, I didn't expect I didn't expect a, a real tough matchup. Um, I did expect that. I did I did think that Cardoso was going to play today, so I was a little surprised to see her her not playing today. But totally understand the the uh, the, the opportunity taken to rest her. I think that that'll prove beneficial as we get deep into the tournament. And Cardoso coming into the the conference turning on fresh legs is going to be really is is going to be awesome. Uh, she should be ready to run. I, I'm not I'm not hearing that there's anything wrong, so there's no no real level of concern. Just um, go finish the season off, and maybe maybe like I said, maybe we'll rest some more starters. Um, definitely cut down on some of the minutes, spread some of the wealth out a little bit, uh, let some people play who. Um, Maybe uh, haven't played haven't played as much. I did not see. Uh, oh no, Sakima Walker did play. Sakima Walker did play. I was, I was about to. I was about to say I didn't see Sakima Walker play, but uh, she did play today. Um, but we got Arizona up next. I'm excited for that game. We going to be a chance to see Talia Scott play. Uh, one of one of the uh, phenom freshmen that I was looking at at the beginning of the season. So looking forward to to that matchup and. Of course, seeing if, if her and my lady get a chance to kind of go back and forth against each other. I like Talia's Talia's style. Um so it should be a fun game. Um I'll be I'll be doing a preview of that game uh, as we get closer to uh to that game. Um but just wanted to check in with a quick recap of the, the 103 55 beatdown that we put on the Wildcast today, going into the last week of the season, and then we'll be getting ready for this conference tourney. Let's get ready to turn it up, game Cox fam. Um but that's it. That's it, y'all. I, like I said, I'll be checking in, coaching. I'll be live tomorrow night at nine. We'll just be catching up on everything women's hoops, um, and just 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 uh having a good old debate about whatever is going on. You know, bring some bring some uh bring some topics y'all would like to talk about. Like I said, we got a few polls up on the community page. Be sure to check those out. We are still on our push for a thousand new subscribers to the page before the end of the month. So. If this is the kind of content that you like and you enjoy these type of conversations, please make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, like the videos, and share the conversation. Stay engaged in the comments. We are always uh, back and forth, uh, continuing the debate, even when we are not live or sharing videos. Um, but until then, stay tuned. Talk soon. It's your favorite auntie with Uncle Tendencies. I'm out. Peace.